Tonight, El Cajon police say they are going to reevaluate safety procedures after starting a four acre fire in the middle of a red flag warning. Well, 10 News reporter Bob Lawrence with what the department said it plans to do in the future. This is the hillside just above the El Cajon police gun range. And this is what it looked like Saturday as flames shot up the hillside after El Cajon SWAT officers were training with smoke canisters. But people are cautious around here. They, they don't want a fire to get started. 13-year resident Ray Lewis was home on Saturday and watched as flames grew closer to houses on top of the ridge. A quick response, including water dropping helicopters, got things under control, but it begged the question. Well, I, I'm just surprised that they were doing something on the red, you know, the high fire season. It's a question we wanted to ask police, but they did not want to do an on-camera interview. El Cajon police did release a statement saying that SWAT team members did follow all safety precautions, but that, quote, they underestimated weather conditions. It's unclear how they did that in the middle of a highly publicized red flag warning, but Chief Redmond's statement went on to say that the department will review safety procedures. They'll have Heartland Fire provide additional safety training, and they regret any inconvenience to residents. But Ray Lewis said he supports having the range there and having police use it. However, but you know, to, to be setting off little bombs and things in the shrubbery and the in the dirt when it's that dry, well, that's sort of a danger. But that's just somebody's accident. Bob Lawrence, 10 News.